La Bonne Crepe. La Bonne Crepe. La Bonne Crepe. La Bonne Crepe, it's like a bake sale, but on the next level. We're fundraising for a field trip to Guadeloupe where we have some pen pals. And in class, we make a lot of crepes just like at the end of the year after we finish a big test. So it kind of just made sense for it to be what we make to raise money. It came to be because we wanted to make sure that every student could go on the trip and we needed a stable income source to make that happen and crepes are a very French way to do it. The students and I, we do a lot of crepes in the, in the classroom and it's something I enjoy doing and something that um, people really take a liking to because it's, you get better and better at it. We have probably about five different teams um, consisting of HR, uh, accounting, media and I started off by uh, managing the Instagram account and uh, reaching out to Front Porch Forum uh, to invite people to come to our crepe cart. I ended up working a lot with Human Resources, which was a lot of scheduling, making sure people were showing up and doing what they needed to do. I managed the media and marketing, and that involved like advertisement, talking to the press, um, a lot of posting about like events we would be at and the new flavors. Because we were local, we had to see which like fruit and vegetables were in season. Um, and that also determined how long we could sell certain things for. Like we were really passionate about like maybe like a pumpkin crepe, but we couldn't do that until the fall. Chocolate and bananas were really popular with like the younger audiences and then more savory ones like ham and cheese were popular with the older audiences. We had a few like um, consistent special flavors like a ham and cheese and a vegetarian option and it was all with like local or like organic produce and other items. Um, and then we had kind of rotating summer or fall flavors. I think I, I came into it just being like, oh, it's going to be, you know, I had no experience with, with it. besides like making crepes in class. I was just kind of like in it for the opportunity. Um, I had, did not expect for my job on uh, human resources to be as hard as it was. I would say running a business during summer break was a big challenge, especially when it's student oriented. We got a lot of press. Um, which was really nice. I, I, there would be people that would come up to us at the market and be like, oh, we saw your, your like the Times Argus article, which was really, really cool to see um, how much of an impact we made outside of just being at the farmer's market. We gathered a like fan base of people because we went to things like the farmer's market consistently and so people would start to know our business and start to know how good the crepes were and they would just keep coming back. We brought in the owner uh, of Woodbelly and they talked about um, how they run their business so we could kind of learn from them. It was amazing how much support we got from community. Uh, people loved our crepes and I think they loved also being able to support the students in the work and also in our uh, fundraising. Uh, so that was amazing to see how popular our crepes were and how supportive the market community was.